What's up everybody, it's Richard with Camping It Up and I know we said we weren't gonna do it, but we did it and we got ourselves a new camper. Let's see what we ended up getting. Right, guys this is a 2022 2900 bh made by grand design we used to have a 2400 but we decided we were going to go ahead and upgrade so i'm going to go tell you a little bit about what makes this one a little bit different it still has leds up front this one does come with two batteries where the other one only came with one two propane tanks up front this is uh we call it the garage it's messy we did just come back from camping so we got a lot of stuff in here it does have your complete control panels in here. If you want to do cable, turn off your power, it has water. And through this panel, you access like the water pump, things like that. It does have two gray tanks and one black tank. And of course it wouldn't be complete if I didn't make this guy right here. That's cousin Eddie. If you want one of those, I actually have those on Amazon. It has an enormous slide. This guy right here is actually 34 feet in total length. It is 7,000 pounds dry and 8,900 pounds completely loaded. It is a 50 amp. Our last 2400 BH was a 30 amp. Um, this guy right here, some back storage, it's really cool. Um, I actually converted this to where the doggies sleep and I'll show you once we get inside. This is actually underneath the bunk bed. And uh, because we got this bigger camper, we had to get a bigger truck. And we ended up going with a 2500 GMC so it could tow it. So if you have a GMC, uh, this little camera right here is made specifically for GMCs, which is really cool. I'll probably have a video about that later. But let's check out the front. Like I said, this thing is, uh, it's actually 33 foot 11 inches. We'll just call it 34. It does have two entries. This is the master. This is the main. Enormous awning with LEDs it does have speakers out here and it does have a hookup right here where you can actually uh, do cable TV uh, one thing I like about this is it has a really good steps the front ones not so much but these ones are super solid and this is a bonus compared to the 2400 is it actually has a griddle outside for the outside kitchen and of course your beer fridge Let's go check out the inside. We'll see if we got anybody in here. What's up? What's up, Carrie? How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm babe? doing good. Just doing a tour, finally, right? I know. It's been a while. It's my fault. All right. So let's do a tour of this real quick. I guess since I'm at the entry, I'm going to talk about the control panel. So this is upgraded uh, from the previous one. Like I said, we had a 20. 20 2400 bh um this one's really cool um you know very simple here but the cool thing i like about this is you can actually connect uh with your bluetooth on your phone and so i can actually be outside open my awning close my awning i can actually open and close the slide turn on the lights i can actually turn on the heater everything so that's really cool same thing with this this is kind of messy but this is storage all the way back i installed these here you got shoe storage down here, which is really cool. And what is different about this area compared to our last one, Carrie? Well, we have so much more room, right? Because we got these reclining seats, which is amazing. And not only do they recline, but they're heated, they massage, they got lights, all kinds of stuff. So it's like really cool. It's like really cool? Yeah. All right. Do you want me to show them that stuff or do you want to know what I'm drinking? What are you drinking? <laughs> So you know I usually drink Chardonnay, but it's dry January, so I'm drinking this fabulous Sam Adams non-alcoholic beer that's actually like really good. I brought you one too. Sweet. <laughs> All right, guys. So let's go get on with the tour. So this is actually the bunk beds. So these are two full-size bunk beds. So these things are absolutely massive. My daughter's friend actually camped with us, and they both were able to sleep in there. And this is the doggy door that I installed. So I don't know if you could take a peek in here, but we got two dogs and this is where they sleep and they love it. Airflow's good. Got a little kennel. Uh, we got storage. There is ventilation in this room as well. And then they also have AC, um, which is up in the ceiling. Each bunk has a light and it has plugins, which is really cool. 
Um, so this area is significantly bigger than our last one. Our last slides literally just had this uh, dining area. So now we have this as well. So it's similar to kind of like the 2800 BH. You know, the main difference is the bathroom would be back here and the bunk beds would be a different area. We really like this model just because of the, the layout made more sense. And mainly it was because of right here. The bathroom is closer to the parents' room, which is really cool. And all the doors have barn doors and it has a real toilet. It's actually a porcelain toilet. Um, if you have a grand design, you'll know that these shower curtains kind of suck. And so we went ahead and just put that in temporarily but it has a good, decent sized shower, has a, an actual, what would you call that? Sunlight thing. Uh, my wife calls it a sunlight thing. It's a sunlight thing. Sunlight thing? Did you even tell them why we got a new one? Um, wait, I'm still doing a tour, Carrie. Oh, finish the tour, Jeez. All right, bathroom, and here's the master. Uh, this is actually a queen size bed. Um, very similar to our last one, similar to like the 2400, the 2800, same amount of storage. The cool thing though is this one does have the cubby holes in there, which is really nice. You can put like your water, you can charge your phone. We did install a TV, which this thing rotates. Um, it has AC up top, uh, has good ventilation compared to our last one. Our last one, it was really weird on the airflow. Storage underneath the bed. What else? You told them about the cubbies? Tell me about the cubbies. Uh, in the room? Yes. Okay, so let me tell you about one of my favorite things. Because you guys know, if you've watched our videos before, you know I like my Chardonnay. And we have our own little Chardonnay holder. And that came from Grand Design. Design like that. And then for the doggies, we have their food bowls. So that's kind of cool. Super cool. Now, one thing is we have like a way bigger fridge which is awesome, okay? Um, so it's almost like we can fit all the groceries that we need even for like a week long trip. Okay, even better than that. Guess what's really cool about this fridge compared to our last one. Our last one only ran on power or propane. So this camper actually comes with a solar panel on top. It's a 12 volt fridge. So this is powered on regardless if you're plugged in hooked up to anything it's always on so while we're traveling all of our stuff stays cold it's fantastic you don't even need a cooler anymore you know? i know we used to have to now the one thing we got to tell them though is you have to use this little lock thing because we didn't one time and like this whole thing went boom and we already have like a party foul on our fridge so you know it there is it, is. it is kitchen sink everything's the same this thing comes down uh, there's actually a grate that goes over there, uh, which is kind of cool for counter space. This guy folds down. We got a microwave, We've got more storage up here. Plenty of storage in here. The pantry. Tell them about the pantry. Oh, yeah. So we actually made this a pantry. Um, like I said, we just got done camping, so we got a lot of crap in there. What's on TV? Oh, it's you. Oh, I'm famous. Storage. Oh, honey, there's a spill in here. Some coffee spill. Uh -oh more storage and then this is going to be the fuse box all that good stuff and then this guy right here normal stuff like that a lot of it's the same very similar barn doors so i think that's what's great is it's very familiar but we love the space yeah compared to the last one it's fantastic yeah. uh let's talk about this camper okay all right guys so i know last time we did a video in a similar situation we said we would never upgrade from a 2400 <laughs> bh and we did it's a 2910 bh why did we do it carrie well a couple of reasons so we've kind of slacked on videos the last year and we got to get back to it but last spring break we had so much fun we went down to sedona and we went with the grandparents and just had a blast but we were on our way home and you know it's like a what how many hour drive it's a while, like 10 hours yeah, or so. Yeah, it's like 10 hours. And so, and we split it up, of course. But we were talking and we we're like, gosh, there's a couple things that was kind of annoying on the trip. And those couple of things were one, I kept like waking up everybody in the entire camper because I'd have to go to the bathroom at like four in the morning and I have to walk all the way across from our room to the bathroom. And then the dogs would want to wake up and then the kids would want to wake up. And so I just would wake everybody up. So that's one big reason. The next thing 
is our son. He's 14 now. And you'll have to put a picture of the giant. He's I call freaking him the giant. huge. He's, he's way huge. taller than me. He's like six foot tall right now. Yeah. And he just takes up so much space and everywhere he goes, it's just like everything moves. And, and so we're like, okay, we need an extra sitting space just so that he can like be somewhere because he's taken up the whole space. So those were kind of the reasons. And we talked about it on the way home and found out that there was one right on the way home. <laughs> oh, I forgot so about we, that. We stopped to take a look and then we put a deposit down and then we just had to sell our car and buy a new truck. So it took a minute, but yeah, do you remember that? I, I totally forgot about that. So correct. I was like, okay, what other type of vehicle or what other type of campers are out? The 2910 was a new model. And so we were like, literally I'm sitting there Googling stuff thinking we need a bigger camper. Yeah. Uh, I was actually looking in Arizona when we were in Sedona to see if I could find one. And it just so happened in Grand Junction, Colorado at, I think it's Centennial RV. Yep. Um, they had one. I was like, no way. So I'm like, okay, on the way back through, let's stop. Let's check it out. At that time, we had the 2400 and we had an expedition towing it. Yep. The expedition would not tow this camper. And so we're like, okay, what are we going to do? So we stopped in, we checked it out, we put a deposit on it. And then we were like, what are we going to do? We got to figure this whole thing out. So we actually sold our camper super, super quick. Uh, and we traded in the expedition. No, we ordered an F-150. I'm yes. so glad we didn't go that route. I am too. But we ordered an F-150. It was supposed to be available like in April or something, and it just wasn't showing up. It was a whole supply chain, stupid stuff. Um, and we ended up going to a local dealership. I found a 20, uh, 2500 GMC. It's a three quarter ton. I am so glad we went so that glad. route. Cause yes, an F-150 would tow it. But with the bigger truck, it's like, I'm just cruising. We can have a semi go right by us. It doesn't even shake, doesn't even, even move. It's fantastic. So, so yes, we yeah. ended up getting that. It did yeah. take like two months for us to get a truck. Yeah. Um, but we were able to get it and here we are. I know. And I love it. I love everything about it. it and I, we're getting ready for camping season now. I know it's only January, but I mean, we went camping for Thanksgiving and Christmas. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you can just camp all the time. Yeah. So as far as spring goes, where are we going? So we grandparents have never been to Carlsbad and we didn't do a Carlsbad video, which was amazing. We'll do that. It'll be so fun. we're going to do it. So we're going to Carlsbad for spring break. And I know we're going to try and do Florida national parks. Mm -hmm. We may or may not bring the camper, but we'll see. Mm -hmm. You never know. And then we have a couple more national parks we got to get to. So we got to just plan it out. Absolutely. But we're going to do videos this year. Last year, we just totally slacked and did yes. videos. But anyways, so back to this camper. So is there anything that you are unhappy with? Um, no. <laughs> Would you ever upgrade it for another camper? No. That's what no. you said. She said that last year, I think. Okay. So. I know, but I, I guess I lied. I'm not a very big liar, but I guess I did lie. I like it. There's plenty of room. I love the, the areas to sit down. It is better than the 2400. It is way better than the 2800. And this is a very good comparison. If you're thinking about a 2800 BH or a 2910 BH, get this one. The reason yeah. being is the bathroom is way better. You're not going to wake up everybody in awesome. the camper because otherwise the bathroom is at the complete other end where the kids sleep. Um, oh, I forgot one more reason. Oh, and it has the 12 volt uh, fridge. So it's always on even when you're driving. What else? We have a door in our room. That oh. was a big deal because in the morning we would go, we would want to go outside to have coffee and oh. we'd wake up everybody because we'd go out the door. Yes. So, so that we, was another big reason We have our too. other entry. Um, the cool thing is you can leave uh, the, the, close, the, the closest bathroom door open yep. and leave this, this bathroom door closed. So then it makes our bedroom feel even bigger. So then if you have to wake up in the middle of the night, go to the bathroom. Cause I guess when you're old, that's what happens. Um, but there's, I don't want to be old. I don't want to be old either, but Ugh. there's, there's ton, a ton of storage. The outside cooking uh, setup is way better than the previous ones. Places to sit. Uh, what I set up for the doggy, a little doggy kennel is huge. They have like a master bedroom, like Cambria can fit in there. And sometimes she goes in there. Yeah. But other than that, we love this camper. We highly recommend it. Yeah. Grand design. You should give me a free camper because I'm always on here. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> but not. But we're gonna do. We're gonna do more this year. We're gonna go enjoy camping again. It's been. It was a crazy year last year with work. So now, this year, videos. We are on it. 
All right, guys, I hope you like this tour. I'm gonna run through it really quick so you can see everything one more time. Uh, there's gonna be a lot more videos. We're gonna get a little bit more committed on actually documenting our video, our camping experiences a little bit better. We've kind of slacked. Mm -hmm. um, if you have any questions, drop them below. Please like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And we'll see you next time on Camping It Up.